Hello, my beautiful YouTube friends. Letty here, living life with Letty. It's been a while, and I have been very lonely without doing a video, uploading a video, because it that's what I keeps me busy in your comments. But for some reason, my I've been in such a funky mood. I haven't really wanted to do much, but. I'm back in the saddle again, and I'm going to start uploading more videos. I have, um, as you know uh, from my previous video, I am scheduled to go get my left eye done, the cataract, on Thursday. And I'm going to see if the ophthalmologist will let me uh, videotape it, you know, record it. My daughter's going to go with me so she can record it. So I'm hoping he'll say yes. I don't know. All I can do is ask. And, um, you know, if he says no, well, that's okay, too. Um, my friend, um, Robert Vandenbrink, who is the gentleman who install, installed my solar battery in my solar panel, um, sent me a, a text with some really wonderful information because I was really confused as to the voltage how to monitor the voltage because I don't want to ruin the battery to, you know, it's a cheap deep cycle battery, 100 watt. It's not a lithium battery. So I do have to manage the volts so that I don't kill the battery. So he sent me um, a, di a, 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 a schedule of how I need to monitor it to make sure that I don't kill the battery. And how it goes is, and I'm going to go ahead and print this below in the description. Um, so, you know, if, if anybody was like me, is like me that doesn't really understand uh, too much about voltage. And um, so, you know, at least you will, you will know. So at 12.7, the battery is fully charged. So I didn't know. I thought it was 12.5. At 12.4, it's 75% charged. So you're still doing good at 12.4. See, I thought I couldn't go below 12.5. So this is really great information. At 12.2, it's uh, 50 to 25% fully charged. So you're still doing good, even if it goes down to 12.2. Now, at 11, it is fully discharged. And if it goes down to 10.5, your battery is done. You might as well take it and throw it away because probably all the cells or whatever uh, are going to be damaged. So this has been a really, really good information for me because, you know, I, I do my 12-volt um, tea kettle and that takes about 4 amps. I believe it is. So if I'm at 12.7 and it uses four, then I'm still at 12.3, which I'm good because I'm about, uh, you know, 75% or maybe 70%. Uh, my electric blanket also takes about three to four. So, and then um, the, the, the fan doesn't take very much. The uh, Max fan doesn't take very much at all, so I'm not even concerned about that one. I was more concerned about my tea kettle and the electric blanket. Uh, my uh, mock Jackery that I have, uh, that doesn't take a lot either. And usually I try to keep that charged when I drive uh, because um, it lasts a long time. Um, I, you know, I can charge my... Um, cell phone, my iPad if I want, also my uh, lantern that Robert gave me, which is a USB lantern, and all those things I do with the Jackery, but the Jackery will last me four or five days because I'm not really using anything that's uh, heat generated. The things that are heat um, generated uh, use a lot, a lot of power. So uh, I'm good, and I hope that this information will be good for you as well, because I have been so confused. Somebody would say, don't go below 12.5. Other people would say, don't go below 12. Don't go above, uh, uh, you know. And I think um, 
what I was told, and please correct me if anybody out there knows this information, I was told not to go above 13.7 because you can heat up the battery and then the acid can boil and you would have a terrible, terrible mess. So um, I don't know if that's correct or not. Uh, a couple of people have told me don't go above 13.5. Somebody says 13.7. So I don't know. I try not to go above 13.5 just to be safe. If I have my solar panel on, I keep an eye on it. And if it goes uh, around 13.5, I disconnect it. When I'm driving, same thing. I'll drive for two or three hours and then I'll check to see where the voltage regulator is at. And if it's, you know, 13.5, I will disconnect it as well. Well, I hope this information um, has been good for you because it was, it's certainly good for me and I have it written down on a piece of paper. I'm gonna put it in my glove compartment in case I forget because you know, sometimes us seniors have senior moments and I may forget all this information and then I'll have to refer back to my video, but it's easier to have it written on a piece of paper. And I will uh, put it, like I said, on the comments below or, or I mean on the description below so that you have it as well. Well, thank you so much, my friends. I really, really love you all so much. New subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Um, thank you for watching my videos. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. And please, please leave a comment. Leave a comment because I was also told that the algorithm of YouTube uh, sees how much engagement you have with your audience. And if I have a lot of comments, it will put my video uh, up to a suggested video in, in more areas, which will give me more subscribers and views. So please leave me a comment, whether it's a good one, bad one, just leave me a comment. I love you all and may the sun shine on you today and every day, especially on your solar panels. I love you, bye-bye.